All right, so we went over mocks a bit. Now let's just practice uh, writing a test for it. So what I want you to do is clean up any unused pieces in this test down here. Is there anything that we don't really need to use that to test, you know, get user data by ID? And then go ahead and write a test specifically to see that we got some user data. Currently, we're really just testing that we got the ID passed correctly. All right, were you able to do it? If not, no worries, we're gonna do it right now. So the um, reason I wanna bring that up is sometimes people leave leftover stuff, myself included, but in our example here, we don't actually need this user data, this additional return, because it's not what we care about here. We technically don't even need to store this result, right? So let's save it, everything still passes. Now, um, this probably could even be updated. Say passes ID to get user properly. Maybe not even properly. The expectation is the test is going to be proper, right? So here, what we want to do is we'll have um, returns. It gets full user data. And do, do, do async as well. And I saved this so we don't have to copy that over the mock user service is equal to a new user and i'm going to teach you a little thing about measures as well as we go and do this so you might be saying filling the to be maybe wasn't passing maybe i wanted to write this but to be or not to be was not the thing of the day so let's actually just clean this up before i get all metaphysical on you here um now, here we go. Almost indenting and all that stuff. It's hard sometimes, but it's worth it. Come on, come on, we almost got it. There we go. Okay, so we have our the range. And now let's go ahead and do our act. Here we're going to get the result. We want the result this time. So we'll go ahead, set the result, and we will await the model dot get my full user data. Now, what you may have tried you may have tried to do something like this, where you wanted to say expect result dot to be, and then have pasted in this data here. This actually isn't going to work, even though those values are probably correct. So, so you might be saying expected user to be this, and it has the same values as you go across. In upcoming additional matcher section, I'm going to bring up to equal, which is going to have some items or to contain where we don't want to go and check every single value like this, right? So another solution that you may have gone about is you might have gone and said, hey, expect result dot ID to be two. That'd be correct. And then you might have gone and done this next where you might have said a result dot First name, right? Be Dolan. Yeah, that's true, but there's better ways of doing that. But here we're able to test that at the very least, our user data is getting returned that we would expect, meaning that when we jump into our user class here, that it's hitting this user service that we mocked out and it's hitting this method and thus it's returning the data that typically when we actually are using it in the app and not in the test suite would actually go and hit this API method. That's the intent of the mock there. It's still functioning as you would expect, but here when we run our tests, it's not gonna hit the actual implementation or the API. Let's go on and move into the additional matcher section where I can showcase some of these more complex matchers other than just to be.